Greetings and welcome to this short tutorial on how to install mods for Factorio. What you see in my Firefox window right now is the official Factorio mods portal. So for this specific tutorial I have selected a mod pack um, which is namely the 5dim mod pack. Uh, I have already downloaded several of the files necessary but I haven't downloaded the core mod. So what I do is that I type in 5dim in the search field here and I click enter or the search button and then I get up a list of all files that are related to the search query that I typed. So when you come to this screen you can see um, all the uh, relevant files um, and they have this small tidbits of information here which is when the mod was last updated what Factorio versions this mod pack or module of a mod pack is usable for and with and also the number of downloads. You can also click yourself into the um, actual mod where you will find various descriptions by the mod author, perhaps some specific instructions, maybe some links and so forth. But when you're dealing with a large mod pack you probably only need to take a look at the core um, file and then the rest of them are uh, as you can see not that uh, much information on it's only a short description for uh, what the what this part of of the mod uh, mod module does because that is a mod module uh, more or less so let's just download the core file and I have all the files that are necessary to uh, have the complete 5dims experience in Factorio available here. So I will now open a computer window, um, that would be my computer if you're on Windows 7, and I will type in app data with percent signs on both sides slash Factorio, and you will find uh, that this is where the save games and configs and so forth for Factorio are stored um, but you will also find the mods folder here. If it isn't present you can safely click uh, right click and select new folder and then make the mods folder but it should be present. So what I need to do now is just copy all these files into that folder like so and now all these uh, files are visible to Factorio. Note that you don't have to unzip them. Factorio will automatically do that uh, by itself. So let's just, just start up Factorio. Oh, and the other two files that were present in that directory, Factorio automatically adjusts the uh, necessary information in those files. So you don't have to, uh, to worry about them. Even should you delete them, Factorio will generate them automatically. So you click the mods option from the menu and uh, now all of these are enabled. Um, if they are grey that means they are disabled. If they are white it means they are enabled and that everything is okay. And you can toggle each of these off and on by the toggle button when you have selected one of them. But I wanted to show you that if they are red there is something wrong. Uh, these mods will now not work and the reason you can find by clicking any of the red ones and in this specific case it's because a dependency is lacking which is the core mod file that I disabled. It could also be that it's the wrong version of Factorio and so forth. So let's just toggle this on again. Now keep in mind that when you disable or enable mod packs if you have done the map generator settings you will not be very happy because what happens then is that Factorio will restart itself so remember to do uh, all the enable and disable stuff that you need to do before you go into the map generator screen. Also you have a mod settings button when you are on the map generator screen which brings up um, this menu uh, five dims is one of the mods that has several options. Not all mods will have this, but uh, here is uh, an, the option to, to do several tweaks and uh, enable, disable various uh, mod related settings. So I'm not going to mess around with that. I'm just going to generate up a new world to see that everything is okay. And here we are. I can now click E and 
I can see that 5 dims is indeed enabled. There are now many new recipes and many new things to explore and build in the game. So I wish you the best of luck in uh, conquering Factorio with mods enabled and uh, I hope you have lots of fun and that this tutorial was helpful for you. Feel free to leave any comments or questions and I will do my best to, to respond as soon as I can to the best of my abilities. Thank you all and have a nice day.